My last video about DIY injection molding was really popular so I thought let's try again to mold some new parts with hot glue gun and DIY Dremel CNC. Uh, I bought a new hot glue gun, this one is a little bit more powerful, it has a variable temperature control so we can heat it up a little bit more in order uh, to let this glue flow easily in the mold and that way we should be able to mold even bigger parts and it should be easier also to do. Uh, I already designed few new parts like these simple bands, you know, to clip the cables together. Uh, here is the YouTube logo, here is a simple clip and a guitar pick that it's not designed yet. Maybe I will design it, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but those three I already have in the Fusion 360, uh, so we just need to export the G-code and run it on the Dremel CNC. We'll machine it out of 5mm thick aluminum. Here I have some aluminum sheets, this one is 5mm thick, so we'll probably use this thing. But before we'll get into machining new molds on the Dremel CNC, let's actually try the old mold. Uh, because here I have the zip tie mold and if you saw the previous video about DIY injection molding, you know that it didn't work out with the old hot glue gun, but because I have a new one, I want to try again and hopefully we'll get some working zip ties out of this mold. Uh, in my previous video we successfully made the, the washer mold, here it is. It worked perfectly fine, we have some really nice washers out of this mold. But I really want to see this zip tie mold working, so let's get into that before machining new molds. Previously I drilled a hole in the top part of this mold so that I can inject the hot glue right here, rather from the front and that way the glue can flow uh, both directions so it's actually easier, I hope it will be easier uh, to form this part in the mold so right now I will just clamp it with these super big clamps to the table and I think the hot glue gun is ready so we'll try to inject some zip ties and the temperature of the hot glue gun I set to the max temperature of 220 degrees celsius hopefully that will be enough for this mold, let's try The zip tie mold is really easy to use and the zip tie itself works really well. You can organize your stuff with it really easily. Uh, it is reusable so you can actually use it multiple times. Can you do that with normal zip tie? You can't. You know, normal people buy zip ties in a store but real makers make zip ties on their own. Now we can turn on the Dremel CNC and start milling the new molds.
first half of the first mold ready so let's start with the second half While milling the first mold I noticed some problems but it was kind of fine and the mold turned out kind of okay. Uh, but with the second mold I noticed quite a big problem because uh, it separates this part from the aluminum sheet at 3.8 millimeters uh, and it shouldn't separate this piece out of this aluminum sheet at this distance and I thought that this is a problem with CNC machine again but it turned out that it's not a problem with CNC machine it's problem with me because I thought I'm using 5mm thick aluminum sheet but it turned out that this one is 4mm thick and this one is 5mm thick so I should use this one instead of this one uh, so both molds are pretty much useless I mean this one is kind of fine uh, but you can see some holes on the other side so it's also not that useful so I have to mill again both parts of the mold unfortunately but it's late today, so see you tomorrow. New day, new aluminum sheet, this time proper aluminum sheet. So we can just start moving those molds again. First mold is ready, we have both parts and now I will just continue moving right here next molds without even taking off this sheet of aluminum. Just a second ago I broke the milling bit, I'm not even sure why it probably bumped into the material uh, because of small shifts on these layers and those shifts on the layers are caused because of the stepper drivers that are too hot. I should probably cool them down with a fan but I don't want the dust and especially the aluminum chips uh, get stuck in the control box because there is electronics. This machine is made out of plastic, it's not designed to mill aluminum, it's not great at milling aluminum and especially when you push this machine as hard as I do right now because I mill a depth of cut of 0.4 millimeters and feed rate of 1000 millimeters per minute that's really a lot for this machine uh, so you can see some layer shifts and maybe some small imperfections but it's fine right now I will just make a quick break and continue moving the second part of this mold Yeah. 
I end up with just two molds. I'm not really sure if I will move the third mold because those already took a lot of time and I was really close to destroying this CNC machine completely because I really want to machine them really fast to achieve a really nice surface finish but this machine can't move as fast as I would like to so yeah I have two molds the inside of the mold is pretty nice uh, the outline the outside of the mold uh, is really not that great you definitely can see some shifting right here but overall the molds are okay so I think we can just test them out I hope to build my bigger CNC machine soon so that I will be able to machine faster, better and bigger parts uh, because, you know, I think I achieved the limits of the Dremel CNC machine but still, you can pretty easily machine aluminum on a 3D printed CNC machine which is crazy and it works pretty fine if you go slow and if you don't move aluminum as often as I do Let's hit up the hot glue gun and we will see how those molds work That was really easy. To be honest, I didn't expect this mold to work right on the first try, but here it is and it worked kind of fine without any problems basically. It looks a little bit like a steering wheel, uh, but of course those are just the supply channels for the hot glue gun, so we just simply can cut those off. And after cutting those off, we have a very simple band to organize cables or basically whatever you want. It's a little bit flexible and it is Quite strong actually, that's cool. In the hot glue gun I have a little bit of old yellow glue and I also loaded the new transparent glue so that's why we have the mix of colors right here. Uh, I was also afraid that this mold, this clip will be a little bit too big because there is really a lot of material to inject but after so successful and easy injection of this part I actually think that this one may also work out so let's try it. And here it is, also super super simple to make. I was afraid that it will be hard because it's kind of a big part, but it turns out that it's easier to make this bigger and thicker part than something like the zip tie. Because this is very thin, hot glue cools down very quickly in the mold. And right here you have a lot more material that stays warm for a longer period of time, so it's actually easier to inject kind of a bigger and thicker parts uh, into the mold. As you can see the collection of mold is growing, we have the washer, we have zip tie, we have the clip and bump. Maybe in the future I will make even more molds and more videos about DIY injection molding with hot glue gun. And drama CNC, if you would like to see more videos like this let me know in the comments. If you have any ideas for the molds also let me know about that in the comments. Uh, if you would like to support my new project of Dremel CNC and all of my projects, you can do that on Patreon, link is in the description. Now I will make some more parts with those molds because it is really fun to make them. Thank you very much for watching, keep making, bye!